morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome back to Throwback Fr Friday number nine. Now yes my background has changed yet again I'm midway through sorting it out so there is a gap here for yarn that's in um, bags and downstairs. <laughs> Fingers crossed it will fit because I have no more room I need to work on getting rid of it all so here's a little clue for what I'll be talking about on um, Saturday's um, Whips and Bits but I'm not telling you any more than that you're gonna have to guess. Right so let's have a look at the very first video of today's set of Throwback Friday videos. I have got four for you today. Right, right so the very first video I have up for you today is Crazy Reacts to a shout out from Gary at Urban Yarns. Now Gary at Urban Yarns, he is so creative, he is absolutely gorgeous. He is um, an Amer Australian and he is now, who now lives in Canada. Absolutely gorgeous chap and his husband's fit as well. <laughs> right, but shh, I shouldn't be saying stuff like that should I? So here is um, my shout out. Now with this shout out um, I did actually record it and my reaction to it as I first watched it. So it is a bit hit and miss because I don't think you can really hear the volume and what Gary was saying. But on the original um, Crazy Reacts to sh the shout out video, there is a link to his video so that you can actually go and watch it as well so that you can see what he was talking about. So here it is. Oh, wrong button. Since making the video that I've only just put up, I've had five new subscribers subscribers come on like within the hour and one of them's mentioned Gary from Urban Yarns now she, they've, she said that um, he's just giving me a shout out so I'm sitting here watching the video I was planning to watch this evening probably in the bath but hey ho um, and he's on to his shout outs fingers crossed Oh no. Oh dear, what have I done? I've skipped back. Give me a second, gang. Right, so I'm watching it now. Not number one. I don't mind. Hello! Oh my gosh, Gary, thank you ever so much. Within an hour of your video going up, I've got five new people popped in to say hello. You're an absolute dream. Now, next time I manage to pop over to Oz, which might probably be for 18 months, two years, um, I might pop to Vic Market, see if I can find you something. Um, but until then, keep your eye out. I might make something cute that reminds you of home. I'll see you later. Thank you ever so much, darling. Yeah, so as you can imagine, I was uh, totally shocked with that. Um, I expect, like not expect, but um, there are times when I'm on another creator's live and she'll mention me or he'll mention me and they'll say, oh, pop over and have a look. That to me is normal. Um, not hearing my name said by to me what is a big channel our Gary has got a lot a lot of subscribers so to me he is a big channel and for him to pick me out and go have a look at her was absolutely amazing and it still makes me a beam now and Gary if you are watching this um, I still do plan to go to Vic Market I've just got to wait for lockdown to be over everywhere, haven't I? Um, and if you remember rightly, there is a koala that, that I did make, but um, it wasn't my pattern. <laughs> so I couldn't show you the pattern, but um, I have done something sim a little bit Aussie for you. And keep an eye out because I do have a blanket coming up once I finish recording this secret item. Um, I will have a blanket coming out that I 
think you might like. Right, and let's have a look at the second video. Right, so the next video up is a Wednesday's Whips, a Bits and More Volume 1. Now, this was my very first attempt at a Whips, Bits and Chats video, basically. Um, but I shoved it out on a Wednesday because I hadn't really worked out where I was going to place the videos during during the week. Now, this also did cause me a little bit of trouble at the beginning. Um, I had to have my comments locked down because there were some tie rags coming onto the channel and leaving links to certain adult sites. Now, I've got a feeling it might be because, of course, I would said whips and bits and more. So I'd let, I may have led them to believe it was an adult channel and not a crochet channel. <laughs> but I still get one occasionally. I just knock it on the head when I see it. But as I said, these earlier videos um, have their comments locked down so that you can leave one, but you, you will just have to wait for me to OK it to the, and then respond to it. Um, so sometimes it can be a bit awkward because uh, I don't always check that file as much anymore because the rest of my videos aren't like that, aren't set like that anymore. I just knock them on the head when I see them come in. They really should watch a video to find out what I'm about. So, what sort of stuff have I got to show you this week? Well, I went downstairs, I stole one of the pillows <laughs> for the sofa and I've just used the insert to fill up the um, cushion for you so you can have a look at it stuffed because it does look a lot different when it's stuffed to when it's um, when it's just sitting there. Now, the thing is, the cushion that I stole was a good two inches wider than the case this case should allow so it's taken a lot of wiggling stuffing and the hopes that it's in but there you go it's nice and squidgy and this one has a very cheeky base to it where you'll be able to pop your cushion in Liam sorry about that puppy dog Right, so with this one, it has a really cheeky little trick on the back. Um, it is a flap so that you can place that over the cushion um, and it will sit there quite nicely. Now, as I said, this one, this cushion is too big for the case, which is why it's uh, escaping. So I'm going to put that back. Now, that's the only bit that I've actually managed to get completed this week because I am... Um, it's gone manic because of the fairies um or should i say being a fairy it's gone manic right so at the um start of christmas in july fairies um with each new person that was coming onto the channel or responding to the video i was um popping a little comment now that was all right for the first five ten fifteen maybe even twenty for that day but then I got to 100 and I started thinking, this is eating up too much time. I'm never going to get anything else accomplished in a day. So I have um, now started using a more generic um, message for anybody that's popping on and popping a comment on there. Um, but keep going. If you haven't entered it on my page, enter it now. Because, hey, it's going to be fun for whoever wins. Right, so who of you out there are enjoying the uh, little Marvel pillows that are coming up, that I've been putting up? Here is a sneak peek at the next one. If you have got a nice bright yellow, uh, bright red and a nice bright yellow or a saffron, keep those balls to one side. You're not going to need a great deal of saffron under 200 grams, uh, yeah, under about 200 grams. So it's an ideal little um, part scrap project. Now that one is going to be for a Marvel fan, so that gives you a clue there. Right, and my last one for me to finish completing is oh, a massive, massive cupcake blanket. Now, it would have been done by this evening if it wasn't for the fact that I had to, un I had to frog back a couple of rows. much work that was the whole way round blanket and I was 
a smidgen, a smidgen away from completing the whole project. And I've looked down and I realised that my corners looked really diabolical. So I had no choice. I couldn't, I couldn't leave it. So it's been stripped back for me to start all over again <laughs> with what I'd done today. So um, this one, and on top of that, in between times, I came up here to try and record this video to find that I had no room on my C drive on my computer. Everything again has been getting um, recorded onto the C drive instead of my D drive, which is massive. The D drive has got more room in it than, I don't know, pick something big. But my C drive has about as much room as a two drawer freezer. So I filled it. So this one, this video wasn't getting recorded. So I went into the C drive because I've got all of the files on the D drive anyway, identical copies. I thought, right, that's it. Stick them in the in the trash give myself some room i did that i went back to the video that i was editing for this blanket all disappeared every bit of it disappeared so um i've then gone back into the bin and click the button that says stick it back to how it should be clicked it refresh the computer gone back to the video that i'm putting together still not there so it's looking like I am gonna have to move some files around and hope I can find them again if I can't then my next video out's not gonna be as in-depth as what it was when I was making the um, the initial square it will just be more of a talk through and a picture book style rather than me actually showing you how to do it which I really didn't want to do yet because for me that's for normally a more advanced because it's someone that knows what they're doing I just you just spill out right I want this many rows of this stitch that stitch and the other stitch on you go so I wasn't planning to have the video done like that but it's looking like it may be for the blanket um, and the same with the cushion as well just so I can give you something to do next week and I think that's pretty much it for me for this this week so far because as I said crazy with the fairies crazy with the cupcakes and just plain crazy for me <laughs> right I'm gonna head off now so please stay in and stay safe and I will see you all soon to our for now right so as you can see the cushion is still behind me the blanket is still there now did I actually get round to doing more than the one marvel uh, no you got yourself spidey um and i didn't manage to get the other ones because i just hadn't worked out how to do the extra patch that goes on top for flash so one day i'll get to it but of course it's one of these uh lost in space whips isn't it right and then frogging back oh my gosh i wasn't complaining though i found it quite silly and daft that i'd mucked up but it's all a it's all a learning curve and you know what i think every project i've done i've ended up having to frog back at least two or three rows it's sort of become a bit of a pattern in the way that i work nowadays i really wish it wasn't mind right so next video up is actually the crazy cupcake c2c blanket now is video one of the set and Right, so in this video, I actually start off right at the beginning and show you how I design the image to start with, how I then work out my box counts, so basically how to read the chart that will be included in a written pattern if you buy it from me, and also I will then I then discuss what you're going to need, the weights you're going to need, and tell you how to do the first X amount of rows. So have a quick nose. Um, if you fancy actually making this i will pop the link up here that takes you through to the crazy cupcake number one and then of course that video has the links for two three and four i think there was only four so it has the links basically for the rest of the set of videos
Okay, so I haven't sussed out how to capture my screen yet to give you a really nice clean view. So I'm hoping that the angle on this isn't too bad. I can't, as I can't bring my um, camera down any lower to get it exact. So this is an old cross stitch that I had done many, many moons ago. Now I've chosen this one because there's not too many colour changes in it, but it will give us all a good practice um, piece to work from. So when choosing your piece, at the moment I would suggest that you don't go too big as each one of these squares will represent a square on your blanket. Now what I will do is I will place a measurement in a moment onto the left hand side of the screen that tells you how big each corresponding square would be with different yarns. I hope. I can at least do it with a DK. Right, so let's get on with working out this pattern. What you want to do is you take your image and you give yourself a minimum of two squares on the left, right, top and bottom. Because the last thing you want to do is sort of muck it up. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've squared this one off and to find my start square I come down the left hand side and along the bottom and this one here I've marked is my very first square. Now I'm going to change out to a different colour because I don't like the black for the second. Right. So this one here is my very first square. Now for my, so my first square is my first row. Now on every even row you will be coming down your work and every odd you're going up your work. So for row one you have one white square, for row two you have two white squares, three would be three white squares and four is four white squares. Now for row five it's five white squares and for row six it is six white squares. Sorry, I did a bit of cheating there because otherwise this video would be very, very long. So row seven is seven white squares. Eight. is the same is eight white squares now row nine is our change row i'm just going to swap the color for a second so you know okay but so for this one we are working up the pattern so we would have two white ones Two saffron, and five white ones. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm now going to move on to actually making the pattern alongside you. And on the left hand side of your screen, there will be the amount of boxes of each colour. Let's get on with making our project. Right, so rather than expecting all of you guys to sit there and watch the entire how to and make video, I'm going to make us all giggle. I'm going to shove it on fast forward and then we'll move on to our next video. So for this project I've chosen to work with the Stylecraft Special DK. Now I've chosen this because it's the one I have the most amount of variations of colours in that will work for this project and I want to make sure that they are all exactly the same thickness. Right, so I have it in white, you're going to need a small amount of black. I've also chosen the colourway saffron, pale rose and for the cherry on the top of the cake we have and got bright pink. Now the details of this yarn are that it is 100% premium acrylic, it's approximately 295 metres or 322 yards. 
we can wash it at 40, cool tumble dry, cool it iron. And it's baits to use a 4mm hook. Now for this pattern, I would suggest that you would go down a hook size. So I'm actually going to be using a 3.5mm hook. And I'm also at quite a tight pressure as well. You'll, so you will need your chosen hook. I'm using a 3.5. You'll need a handful of stitch markers and a half decent pair of scissors. Now let's get on with the project. You can wash it at 40, cool tumble dry, cool it iron. And it's baits to use a 4mm hook. Now for this pattern, I would suggest that you would go down a hook size. So I'm actually going to be using a 3.5mm hook. And I'm also at quite a tight pressure as well. You'll, so you'll need your chosen hook. I'm using a 3.5. You'll need a handful of stitch markers and a half decent pair of scissors. Now let's get on with the project. Right, so next video up is a Web Spits and Chat Volume 3. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my crazies. My name's Angela. I'm the crazy poppy lady and I would like to welcome back all my old subscribers, all you newbies. Thank you for coming in and thank you for sticking around to see what other craziness I come out with. Right, so I thought I'd just pop on to give you all a heads up. The Crazy Cupcake Blanket tutorials are all up now. So that includes the patch that you want for this cupcake and how to stick it all together how to get on with the white one and also how to do the border so it's all there it's all ready to go so get that hooker hook in now on top of that i would really really love if any of you have made the blanket or any of the the pillow cases or any other projects of that you've got from my channel if you've made them i would absolutely love a photograph to be either emailed over to me or you pop it on the Facebook group that I've only just started so it's really boring there's not a great deal on there yet but I would love to see them because it gives me the boost knowing that someone's made the project and that the next one the next project out someone will also make that just like Gypsy at Gypsy's Yarn Yak has done she sent me a photograph of her giant unicorn and it's got some cool crazy hair on it i'm going to pop in some photos here and i'm also going to pop a link in if it works to her channel if not it's going to her channel is going to be in the description box below she's quite new to youtubing so it'd be really cool if you popped over and had a look at the crazy stuff that she's popping on Now I've also received an image of um, the cupcake pattern. Now um, Sabrina is has is undecided really on what she's doing with it yet. She's got an idea in mind which is completely off the wall compared to what I've shown you so far with the pattern. So because of that, I'm going to pop a link either up top or down in the comments to her channel as well. So I'm really, really chuffed that you two girls have um, created my projects and also shown me. Thank you very much, girls. Right, so while I've been editing the video, I've also had a um, picture pop up on my Facebook group from Zara K. Now, I don't know a lot of details about Zara, so I don't know whether um, she's got a channel or anything at the moment. Um, I'll go off and have a nose in a minute. If she has, I'll be popping her link below, but if she hasn't, um, here is an image of her unicorn. Right, so now I am going back to my list of um, makes that you guys would like me to attempt now i've had a thought on one of you one of your comments i haven't got your name to hand i'm sorry to say but you wanted me to do a scrap yarn project this confuses me because i do lots of different size projects sometimes i will use the yarn that i have left over from say the blanket to then make a the cushion and even in in the case of the the yarn that was used behind me so I even ended up using the saffron that was left over from the cupcakes 
to make the lightning bolt for the flash. So I don't really see um, the end of the yarn as scrap, so to say. I can always normally find something to do with it. I might have a challenge now though, as that's what I have left <laughs> of, um, of that ball there. So I think that's probably about two grams if I'm lucky. But even then, I can end up using that to make a bow um, for the top of a toy or a bow tie. So there's always something I can do with it. It's just finding it, finding the item at the right time. So what I'd really like to know from you guys is how much yarn do you class as scrap at the end of your projects? Or are you like me? Do you ball it back up if it's 20 grams? Brilliant, stick the label on it. Um, if it's only 5 grams, do you still ball it up? If it's 2 grams, does it just go in a bag? If it's under that, does it just go in the bin? What do you do with your end of project amounts of wool left? I'm going to keep an eye on that comment box down below. So I thought I'd just pop on um, to give you all a bit of an update. The cupcake, cupcake, oh that thing behind me with the blanket. <laughs> no, all done. I absolutely love this episode. This is the first episode where I got to actually start showing off um, your works. Your photographs of the items that you've made are using um, my tutorials. Now remember, I still love doing this and I still love receiving those images. So don't forget to send them to me when you're finished so I can show them off to everybody else. All the older, uh, what scrap, yarny scrap <laughs> comment. Now, to be honest, I am still the same. I'm still so tight. I squeak when I walk when it comes to wasting yarn. I've even got a bag downstairs that I put the little bits that I cut off of the poppies, like the poppy brooches, the little bits that I cut off are going in that bag because I've got an idea on something I can make with those, um, which I will show you when I have enough to make the item. At the moment, as you know, I'm on a certain amount of boxes and I haven't actually got anything more than <laughs> probably about two grams <laughs> so I'm really really tight when it comes to ends and what I cut off and what I don't sew in and things like that so as I said I will show you that but that may be in about four months time when I get my first or however long it's going to take for me to get the first thousand made this year um, and then I'll show you what I've made with those scraps <laughs> Right, so that is it for me from t for today. I'm going to head off now. I've got some recording to do for this one. So I will see you all uh, really, really soon. Well, I'll see you on Sunday. So please, if you can, stay in and definitely stay safe. Draw for now, everybody.